this is what's called a Boshain skull or exploded skull, and the bones have been separated so you can see each one individually. Unfortunately, missing is the ethmoid bone because it's so fragile, it has so many air cells, which are sinuses, that it tends to fall and break off. But let's go through the bones that we have. First of all, we'll look at the sutures, and then we'll look at the bones. This is called the coronal suture. Uh, divides the frontal bone from the two parietal bones. Separating the two parietal bones is a sagittal suture. Separating the occipital bone from the parietal bones is a lambdoid or lambdoidal suture. And separating uh, the temporal bone from the parietal bone is the squamous suture, squamous suture. Uh, some people also uh, have a met metopic suture. Uh, during development, the two frontal bones usually fuse together, but sometimes they don't, and uh, that suture remains. There's some smaller sutures too, but we won't go into those. Now, I already mentioned the frontal bone, uh, the parietal bone, and the occipital bone, and the temporal bone. I'm going to go over those in more detail a little bit later on. Uh, other large bones that we have, we have the uh, maxilla here, and the mandible, uh, the zygomatic bone, or cheekbone, and then we have a lot of smaller bones, too. Uh, helping form the nasal septum is the vomer, it means plow shape, like a plow, uh, along with a part of the ethmoid bone that forms the nasal septum. Uh, this bone here is uh, the lacrimal. It's totally within the eye orbit. Uh, down here we have a little scroll-like bone. I'll show you what it looks like in more detail. See that? This is the inferior nasal conchi. The middle and superior nasal conchi are part of the ethmoid bone, and they help form the sides of the uh, na nasal cavity, and they make the air turbulent in there. It helps. Uh, clean out the gunk from the air that you breathe in. Uh, we also have uh, the palatine bones. This has been broken a little bit. It's sort of basically kind of uh, L-shaped bone here. It's a little bit hard to see over there. Uh, let me hold one up for you. This is a lacrimal bone. And it's L-shaped, so the horizontal plate forms the hard palate. Um, and then it goes up the sides of the nasal cavity all the way up to the eye orbit. Also, we have, uh, let's see over here, I already showed you the lacrimal bone and the inferior nasal conchi. Let me show you some features of some of the bones. And uh, also the ethmoid bone. This is the one that broke off. This is a very nice casting of it. This is the, uh, what's called the Christagalli. Uh, our coxcomb. Uh, the falx there reattaches there. Some of the membranes around, surrounding the brain attach there. Uh, it helps hold the brain in place. Uh, you can also see the perpendicular plate that helps form the nasal septum with the vomer bone. And then the uh, conchi are on the sides. If you look down on it, you can see in, in the cribriform plate the olfactory foramina for the olfactory nerves that are coming from the nasal cavity up to the brain. Now, one of the bones that has a lot of features is the uh, temporal bone. Now, this is called the zygomatic process. Zygomatic process is on the temporal bone. The temporal process is on the zygomatic bone. So they help form the zygomatic arch, which is uh, basically sort of like uh, the arch of your cheek. This is the squamous portion of the temporal bone, external auditory canal. Uh, you can't see it very well, but there is a uh, styloid process where muscles attach and lig ligaments attach that go to the hyoid bone. It tends to break off, so it's kind of missing here. This is the mastoid process. Unfortunately, sometimes people get infections here and they can travel to the brain. If you look inside, though, and uh, You'll see this sort of rocky portion here. This is called the petrous portion. That's where your middle and inner ear structures are. And uh, your brain sits on top of that. And if you stop suddenly, the bone stops off. And before the brain, the brain may slide over there and get damaged. 